we fixed a half marathon with a figure eight and yeah let's see how much it will hold so we are at five kilonewton now in other words half a ton still everything looks perfect we are at eight kilonewton 10 kilonewton one ton so the webbing tore at 16 kilonewton to make this result comparable we also fixed a half marathon in a seahorse and here it held 27 kilonewton so now we do the same with a marathon play also fixed with a figure eight and we are at 7 kilonewton now we reached one ton still everything looks perfect we can see how much the webbing is weakened by a figure eight knot. We actually reach 17 kN with this webbing. Also, the marathon play was then fixed in a seahorse where it tore apart at 36.3 kN. As a comparison, we also took a static rope or rather a semi static rope. And to measure the stretch, we indicated some lines here that we're gonna measure at 10 kN again, as we did with all the other webbings too. So we just fixed the rope with a figure eight and it showed that it has about the same elongation as a red tube. We measured on 10 kN each. So now it's time to repeat the same test with a dynamic rope. So interestingly, everything held about the same when fixed with the figure eight. The wider the webbing was, the more it was weakened by the figure eight. And when fixed in a seahorse, the marathon play was clearly the strongest of all. When using a rope as a backup of your high line, you should really consider that the stretch rates are really high, especially with a dynamic rope. So if you want to go high lining not very high above the ground, it's normally not really a good option to use a dynamic rope as a backup. The breaking strength of the dynamic rope stayed unknown because the machine was too small and the elongation rate of the rope too high. 